in the previous episode, we stole the Orphe camera from Raphael, and now we're taking our newly freed Hope to the exit, potentially. That's what we're going to try to do. We're rushing to the exit. Um, unfortunately, there's also a Hell Sphere here. And this brings me back to something I said when we first got here. I wish that I brought... Uh, what's his face? I'm forgetting his name. Why am I forgetting his name all of a sudden? You know who I mean. Because if if I could have Eldritch blasted the sphere and knocked it back, mm, beautiful, right? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. Okay, so let's get out of the fire. Um, I'm going to run up and around and this way because I want to hamstring this guy. Cool. I just want to essentially give him the least amount of potential to actually like get to us. So I think that's probably going to be the best way to do that. Um, can I hide? I can't believe that worked. All right, Carlac. Uh, he's at 32 health remaining. I think if you run over here and then jump down, I'm going to lose that bonus action to actually, oh my goodness, that critical hit though. Beautiful. <laughs> Well done. All right, let's uh, end her turn. Now. I guess I can jump him down? I mean, I could run him through. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do that, sure. So he's gonna run down. He'll end his turn down there. My nerd can, can just fly because, because he can fly. <laughs> um, hope, probably just gonna have to jump. Dash maybe? Ah, oh, she could jump down. I'm just trying to not walk them through the fire. I think that that would be ideal. And then Shadowheart, same thing. Gonna, oh, no, she's not allowed to jump. <laughs> she's not allowed to. <laughs> I'll jump on the next turn. Uh, I don't need a heal really. So I think I think we just end turn. Even catch my breath. Um, my guy's got so much more movement. Let's move him all the way in. End his turn. Uh, Hope can also move in a little more, right? Yeah, enter. All right, yeah, this thing's gonna go for Shadow Heart, which is kind of what I thought. Um, oh my goodness. I mean, it has 199 health. Do we just get rid of it? I think we may. Uh, let's sneak attack. Is it taking... Yeah, 10 feet, six to 36 fire damage. My goodness. Um, well, I don't really want him <laughs> to do a melee attack against this thing, but I guess if it's necessary, we could. All right, so she's going to rage and come over here, smack it around a bit. Um, I will move her outside of 10 feet, potentially. Tactical. In fact, if I can, if I can spread everybody out so we're not taking unnecessary damage, then that'd be great. Also, these guys are about to get in combat with us. Um, end her turn. turn out. Um, my paladin. Dying for me. Let's get him in All here. I think I should be able to smite it. It didn't really do a whole heck of a lot, did? Oh wait, do I? St I have the Orphic hammer on. Oh my goodness. And I can't swap. Damn it! I really need to not have that weapon on. I totally forgot. <sighs> well, I guess I could just attack again. <laughs> Not ideal. Not doing the damage I need it to, you know what I mean? Restore vitality, though. Oh, the, bi the, the bonus action on this weapon. Yeah, let's do it. Just heal him up a little bit. And turn. Um, you. Go ahead and pop a big potion. Move him up. And his turn. Now here's the thing. I need her to jump. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Jump there. Uh, I poke it. Guess not. And then just kind of run. <laughs> uh, hope. We can move Hope down. I'm okay with, with my Paladin sitting there. Taking the hits. Uh, I could Ray of Frost. That actually might be pretty good against the giant flaming sphere. Yeah, 23 damage. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, she didn't need to heal. And turn. And turn. He made a save. Uh, he takes half damage from fire anyway, so I'm kind of okay with him tanking it. Um, where did Karlak go? Up. Aye, aye. I want Karlak to come over here and smack it a few times. It's it's almost dead. 
Especially with all of our guys just like loading into it. Um, where did Shadow Heart go? Um, Shadow Heart can Sacred Flame. Four damage. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I don't want to use the heal, but I will guiding bolts. Critical hit, nice. Um, and then I am gonna go ahead and use her heal on us. We have an extra one, right? We may as well use it. And turn. And his turn. My guy gets to. He has advantage. But do I swap the weapon out now? No, I think I just kill this thing. Critical hit. Uh, that's a miss, but I get that bonus weapon, or bonus action. 15 health, yeah, it'll be dead next turn. Uh, let's move her up and her turn. Okay, I think what we do here is we attack with... Alright, so we don't attack with the Starion. <laughs> Come over here and hit it a couple times to kill it. Beautiful. Let's quickly... Do that short rest just to get it done with. And we're gonna take my action to equip that. Boom, now we're good to go, I believe. Nothing on that. No, 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 I wanna loot him. Sure. Okay, cool. Forward we go. More more fighting, of course. I tried, yeah, okay, I was wondering. It was just gonna throw us in the combat on that one. Now, I think all of these are basically gonna do the whole thing where they blow up and start, you know, shooting demons at us. Do I have, I have an arrow of darkness. That's not what I want. Do I have any fire arrows? I thought I did. I mean, I could do roaring thunder. Sure, we have enough of those. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's knock these two nerds back if I can. Got one of them to knock back. Not dead, didn't do any damage. Just kind of hoping I would. That sucks. <laughs> okay, uh, Hope. Can't do much. She can run in and attack. We can Ray of Frost this one. Get them to blow up. Right, that's the key. Gotta get them to blow up. Gods, it's hot in here. Uh, Karlak needs to rage again. Was out of combat for slightly too long. I'm gonna that's run her. Good. Rush attack this one. Um, not dead yet, but we need to blow it up. Okay, and then end her turn. Uh, we can run a Starion in here and and melee this thing. Maybe we'll kill it. Nope, didn't. Got close though. Uh, I'll disengage here. Oh, he's out of movement. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Didn't think about Love that. Comes easy these days. All right, my paladin can do a kill here. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Let's try it. So we're invisible, which will allow me to fly and not take the damage, and use my um, my second attack. Topple the big folk. I forgot that I had this. Deal additional damage equal to your proficiency bonus on uh, hit hu large, huge, and gargantuan creatures take additional damage. I mean, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? But it's once per short rest, so I want to hold on to that. Um, let's go ahead and cleave. We'll blow them both up. And then we will bonus attack. Do it. Uh, no, I save Executioner. Definitely save it. We need to. We need to save it. Okay, end his turn. Uh, Starion's gotta end his turn. And she's already actionless, so I'm just gonna move her and end hers. You know, that was kinda nice. She just got a free attack against that guy. That guy's definitely dead next turn, and that means she can also run over and hit those ones. Uh, I would love to do some sort of AoE, but all of these are gonna cost far too much to make it worth it. Kind of a shame, right? Because yeah, she doesn't really have much of anything that we can use. I should probably feast. Forgot about that. Uh, what are these? Reflective shell. 
Immolating Gaze, Warding Bond. Yeah, unfortunately, I think what I'm gonna do is just Sacred Flame one of these. And pop it. Did the other one blow up? Ah, close, very close. And then I move her over here and enter a turn. It's unfortunate. I should probably use the, the Hero's Feast though before getting into the final room. I actually have a feeling that that might be very important. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he's now flame feeble. Vulnerable to fire, fire damage. I mean, she's taking double damage on fire damage, which really sucks. Surviving All right, my paladin can do some work. Let's start with Karlak. It's go time. Yeah, cool. So she can get the kill there, but she can't move. Why? Burning? Frenzied? Why is it? Oh, no, I can move. I'm just going to take fire damage. That's fine. Run over here. Do an attack. Make it reckless. Okay, critical miss. That was double critical miss in a row, actually. She rolled a one and then a one again. Um, let us... What is going on? Guess I'm getting all my bad rolls out of the way. Goodness. If I move, I'm going to take fire damage. It's fine. Okay, didn't take fire damage. Good. Um, but... Uh, I'll leave him there. He's, he's gonna get a heal before anything happens. Now, this nerd, I need to smite. Don't want to execute him. Critical hit, totally fine with me. Um, let's kill this one off. Do I want to smite it? No, I don't think we do. Nope, don't react. Okay, and then... We fly over here get that free attack in don't want to there we go okay um let's pull this over heroes feast everybody so you can give us all a bunch of bonus um then i'm going to i'm not going to use a spell actually i'm going to use some potions because i got plenty of potions so we'll drink that one Goodness, where are all there? There's, I got 23 of these things. This, this is why we bought them. Just kind of top us all off before moving forward. And meat. Do I want to actually like look at the loot on these guys? And one of them had like a halberd. That one did too. Mind my step. Not that one. All right, I have a feeling we're about to get into it. The final encounter before we leave. That would be my guess, which is why a hero's feast. So that gives us immune to disease poisons and frightened makes all wisdom saving throws with advantage and its hp is maximums increased by 12. yeah it's pretty good you die today heroes feast just op put that on there oh it won't it won't give it to me he's almost home night closer than a kiss why sorry a lot while this color is blood Oh, it's only 10 turns, really. What? It's a level three? Oh, I don't I did not realize. I thought I was casting aura of courage this entire time. Things got moved on my bar. Am I crazy? Didn't things get moved on my bar? Oh no, I've that's where my my spell slots went. Well then, now I'm down to one level three spell slot. Crap. Ooh, that really sucks. Alright, let's get into combat so we can actually cast this stupid thing before it ends. Maybe. Yeah, I knew it. Slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. Well, I kind of screwed myself. Oh, her. Yeah, kind of had a feeling. Oh, hello there. This is an ogre from Dragon Age. Not ogre. What, what was it? Oh, no, it was, um, crap. What were they called? There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens. The dark spawn Chattering guys. children. The noise and the chaos of it all. In my world. In my house. There is order. And there is decorum. You came here uninvited. 
And you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Uh, your house is in disarray. The guards couldn't stop me from freeing hope. Hmm. Carilla, this is your chance to be free. Help me take him down. Interesting. I wonder if I can make like a roll for that. Uh, it's over, Raphael. You can't stop me. Do I want to be like, look, I freed hope. Yeah, I think I do. Just kind of, just kind of piss him off. Sister, oh sister, I wept and Your I cried. Sister? But all would be well if you were by my side. Oh, hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla, tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I think I've already put two and two I together. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then Hope dies today commander you can salvage a trophy from these insects when i'm done with them gladly uh join the winning side Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me that's true i really like this line because for me I'm, that's what my paladin believes He's like, look, I, I am I am a paladin. I, I kill demons. That's what I do. Demons, undead, all the nasty stuff, right? Am I going to make this roll? It's a DC 30. So I need to literally roll a critical success. Let's do it, baby. I rolled a one. <laughs> of course I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I should have seen it coming. I mean, it it always happens. You overestimate your abilities. I stand with Raphael. <laughs> if you have any last uh, words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. That, I just that. <laughs> Wait, please. I have one final proposition. No. Uh, I've been hoping to kill you ever since I met you. That is the truth. Hope. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. I should have buffed and everything beforehand, but man, that's so funny that I rolled a one. All right, how much life does he have? 666. Of course he does. All right, this your goal only has 105 life. We've got some Cambians, and they've this music though. I love it, devilishly strong, huh? Well, within 60 feet of Raphael, this creature has advantage on strength and dex checks. Soul pillar proximity four. Raphael is surrounded by four soul pillars, granting Raphael attacks and additional fire damage and plus 12 bonus to his dexterity checks and saving throws. Damn. And unfortunately, these have 99 health. Okay. 
Okay, so we got to think of this. Really, really, Raphael, you have your own. Of course, he has his own battle song. <laughs> this is epic. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Okay. Do I have any, like, have dragon slang, fiend slang? This is a fiend, isn't it? Isn't he a fiend? He is a fiend. Okay. So we're going to pop our fiend slang arrow. 45% chance. All right, we're going to quick save here. This cracks me up. 95% chance on the Yurgle. I mean, I can also hamstring and reduce that movement speed so this person can't get to us, but I don't think that's that important. So let's... Let's get the Yurgle. I don't know, 45% chance though. Okay, Yurgle. Your gear? Your gear. Critical hit, nice. I'm gonna run him over and stab this one. What was it? Devilishly strong. Which had advantage on strength and dex checks and attacks. Okay. Affected entity is attacked with radiant damage. Raphael's projection reflects twice that amount as fire damage. And this condition ends. Mm, it's like they know. So my paladin has to go all in on Raphael or the your gear. Your gear? You gear, you reaped. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, this thing's going to jump in on one of us. Or ray of fire and critically miss. Totally fine with me. Hello there. Okay. Uh, does she have radiant damage on this weapon? No, it is necrotic. Well... Rage. Um, I don't want to kill Corilla. We're, we're probably going to have to do something different with that. Now, unfortunately, I also need to get to Raphael. 100%. So I'm going to take an attack of opportunity to get to him. Um, yeah, for sure. Oh, I didn't realize I had cleave. I do have it. I, I, I think the last episode I said I don't think I had it on this weapon, but I totally do. 30% sure, whatever. Uh, make it reckless. So I need her in there doing something to him, right? I just need to get in there. Consume souls. Mm. Soul charges. Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll look at his stuff in a second. She made a save, still took 23 damage. He's gonna jump in. Oh, my paladin could absolutely destroy him. Yeah, like, thanks for running over to my paladin, my guy. <laughs> but look, everybody goes before him. All right, critical miss. Still took 23 damage. Don't react. We have so much healing, too. Like, that's the thing that I gotta keep in mind. That I might take damage each thing. But, um, having hope be able to heal us as well. Okay, well, he just went down. I can get him up. But my goodness. Critical miss. Okay, so, um, hope will preserve life. We're all just about in range minus Karlak, but I don't need Karlak. So get him up. And we will utilize her heal to... Well, do I want to? I don't know. And that was her action. Let's let's go ahead. All right, now Corilla's going to do her thing. All right, my paladin. That's the thing. I can get over here, and because I have Giant Slayer, I could absolutely kill him. Um, I could topple the big folk on him, which would be crazy good. I, I, th I think I'll take an attack of opportunity to do that. 
Because he has, okay, yeah, he has the soul chargers too. Raphael has two soul chargers to spend on powerful spells. That sounds bad. Punish divinity. When hit with radiant damage, Raphael can use reaction to stun the attacker, leaving the abundant creature soul wreath. Or soul wrenched. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Catch a break. Totally okay with taking it. Nice miss. Okay, so topple the big folk, yeah? Let's make it an executioner. <laughs> oh my goodness, it just did like 70 damage. All right, and we got an extra attack. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Turns me invisible, uh, which does give me the opportunity to run over here and just hit him. Poof, goodness, that aura of protection. Though. Oh, now he's stunned. Crap, I forgot about that. I just, I just completely ignored the stun. That's bad. It's really bad. All right, so moonbeam, baby. Oh, radiant damage though. Now this, this is the thing is, does the radiant damage, hmm, I don't know. I can hit all of them right here with the insect plague though. Let's see that. They all made their save though. Of course they did. Of course they did. All right, let's run her in the middle. Oh, I literally ran her into the insect. I'm not playing this well at all. All right, let's get my level six spell slot back. Don't know why I did that. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just not playing well right now. Okay, uh, he can pokey pokey. And then he can disengage. He can run off over here. And he can not shoot. Right, 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 right. Because of course he can. Why? Well, because he, yeah, was dead. Go ahead and drink. Can't drink. That was his bonus action. Okay. He's done. That's all he's got. Ain't got nothing left. Full work. Oh, no. The concentration got broken. Well, that's not a bad thing. That could have been better. Okay. Uh, crap. Raphael's gonna go next. I need to get my guy undone here. Unparalysize him. How did that not work? Okay, just not give me any, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, th I feel like I need to almost restart this fight because I've just played so poorly right off the bat. I feel like I am. I am actually just gonna go ahead and reload. I, I don't know what I was doing at the beginning of this fight, but it was not thinking. I was not using my brain. I've made like three or four major mistakes that completely changed the tide. Like paralysis, paral paralysis, par paralyzing. There we go, got there eventually. My own paladin, not a great idea. <sighs> we gotta hear his stupid song again. <laughs> it's epic. It's epic, right? At least we are sticking with our choices, right? We're sticking with rolling that one. That is totally us. I'm not reloading pre that point. Okay. How do I, how do I actually want to do this? I don't know. I kind of feel like like I need to use that fiend slaying on this thing to try to get it as low as possible. So, yeah, but it's not gonna kill it. That's the thing. Mm. No, I'm gonna use it on... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe we do focus down the, your gear or the, the cambion. I don't know. Let's, let's just try to remove actions, right? Let's play the game like we normally play it. We're gonna try to remove actions. We're cunning action dash. Hell, hell, hell has its laws. His stupid hell, song. Hell. In the <laughs> Withering cut. Okay. Alright, end turn. Oh, the misses. I think it's because he is engaged, so he has disadvantage. She, it, it has disadvantage. Alright, what do you mean can't reach? There we go. Alright, attack. 
Attack again. All right, almost dead. And turn. I wish I could spread out a little more, but it is what it is. He's gonna just absolutely dominate somebody. Well, not bad, actually. Your gear. No, don't do it. All right, that's not bad. It's all kind of going about the same. These guys, are, someone's gonna go down. Asterion's gonna go down again. Critical miss. Okay. Peripheral misses, okay. Maybe we keep him up. Even with the misses though, he's taking freaking so much fire damage. No more deals, it's over. The final act, you're too. No more Missing, okay. It's over. This house of hope. Miss, miss. The year gear is knocked down from the bulwark. I didn't realize that until now. Oh my goodness, they're all like right on top of her. Okay. I feel like what I need to do is jump past them. Even with the attacks of opportunity, I feel like I need to jump. Yeah, let's jump there. Okay, that's not bad. Take the attacks just to get the heck out of that. Because we can moonbeam those suckers if I need to. Okay, uh, preserve life on everybody. Okay, because we need that. Absolutely need that. End her turn. Gorilla gonna do her thing. Critical miss. We'll take that. Don't react. No, don't react. Thank you. She's jumping up. All right, I'm gonna come over here and... No, 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 no. Don't attack. Oh, my goodness. Don't react. Don't react. All right, here we go. We're, we want to attack with this. And do the executioner. Okay, much better. Now we kill him. Okay, thank you. Uh, so that's done. I can move my paladin oh my off way. over here. And his turn. All right, she can... I don't want to flame. No, no fire. No fire. Bad idea. Fire bad. They're not going to take fire damage. I mean, they, they would, but they're not, you know. The radiant damage is going to be curious whether it reflects it or not. Because this is not direct damage. Does it say directly? If this entity is attacked with radiant damage, Raphael protection reflects twice that amount as fire damage. I mean, this might be a really bad idea. We're going to quick save. I mean, I could also just hit them with insect plague. Just like this. And also get that pillar up there. Let's do that. I think that's a better idea. They also are all slow and all that nonsense. We will hit a heal. Top everybody off for the next round of combat. The Starion can do his thing so he can do this. Right, that one's full health. That one is full health. Let us disengage. Run up here and sneak attack this one. Okay, pretty good. And turn. Carlac can now get in here and finish this one off. One more. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get in melee with that one. He gets to go. Eternal debtor. Oh, okay, whatever. So he's summoning some things. Yeah, go ahead and try to find my boy. Okay, there goes her temp HP, so it's fine. What, you can attack up there? That's bull crap. <laughs> I thought I figured he'd be fine. Bulwark. Yes, walk very slowly. Man, the amount of misses they are doing is really nice for us. Okay, okay, okay. Um, she is going to go ahead and just hit us with one of these. Now she can divine intervention. So I feel like she absolutely should. Cash can only use this feature once in their adventure. Well, good thing Hope 
is using her divine intervention now. 80 to 80, or 8 to 80 damage. Opulent revival. Fallen companions, half their HP or so all nearby allies. Golden generosity. Uh, arm thy servant, call upon a deity to grant your legend, you a legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond. Wow, that sounds cool. Maybe I don't use this yet. Um, I mean, this is punished divinity. Hmm. I don't know. I can also just hit everybody up with a bless. Attack rolls and saving throws. One, two, and three. I think that's good. All right, well, we'll end her turn. I don't want to kill her sister still. I gotta got remember that. If I attack her, I gotta switch to the non-lethal. Okay. Um, Yeah, I think I fly over. Where's my fly? There it is. We're just gonna get in the middle over here. Um, fiends and yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I need to go into his spellbook reactions. Yep, I want that opportunity attack. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I just gotta make sure I'm not smiting things, you know. Um, let's go ahead and just hit some fools. I am going to be taking some because of the, the weapon that I am using, but I think that's fine. All right, let's, he's invisible again. Damn, it's really nice. Let's just fly him off over here again. Um, we'll end his turn. Shadowheart gets to go. She could moonbeam. But again, that's radiant damage. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. Oh, and it's also concentration, so I don't wanna do that. Um, hmm. This is also concentration. Uh, what else does she have? She's got a few things. None of them are like hyper important though. I mean, maybe the Divine Strike, though. It's Radiant Damage. I think it would be fine. Yeah, that's a tough one to consider. I kind of feel like I need to move her out of the range of hope there. Um, and also, like, in the middle where I can heal everybody. I don't want a sacred flame. Man, I, I brought a lot of radiant damage to a fight that is not really allowing me to do radiant damage. You know what I mean? If I can kill this soul pillar off, it actually might be really nice. Not be... Hmm. What if I just launch a thing at this? 100% chance to hit. Let's do it as a level two. 20. Mm, yeah, that may not have been the best. It's awarded consumption. What's that? Raphael cannot consume a soul from this pillar because it recently took radiant damage or had its soul dispersed by other means. Wow. Okay. Really good to know. Um, let's disengage him. Uh, first thing we're going to do is poke him with a sneak attack. Sure, that sounds good. We'll run him over here so he can pop off a ranged attack. That was not the kind of ranged attack I was <laughs> hoping for. It's just not good enough. Okay, she can smack some things. This thing definitely will die this turn. Final one. Boom. Cool. Let's run her over here. Just so if he tries to move, he's getting the whole annoyances. You know what I mean? Disadvantage, tax of opportunity, all that nonsense. Uh, 
No, 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 no. Hold on. It said that you could not take souls from that one. I call BS. Fine. We got plenty of heals still. Full work. These guys are almost all dead. Um. Man, hitting with a guiding bolt here sounds really good, doesn't it? I'm really curious what happens if that thing dies, right? Heal everybody up and turn. She's gonna do her thing. Sure, poison spray. She's not really been that effective, so I'm not too worried about her. Um. What if I fly up to this one? And level two smite it. Target cannot be one of them. Okay, that's fine. Just hit it. I have advantage. It's 100%. <laughs> you know, it's advantage anyways. Cool. Uh, and I don't get the bonus attack. So... I already used this, right? Yes. Two radiant damage. Sure. Let's give him, give him that Inquisitor's might, you know. And turn. I gotta think about how I want to do this, because if I could kill off this pillar, that actually might be really good for us, right? So let's go ahead and try to kill it. That's a level two. Soul overcharge. Raphael has consumed the power of a destroyed soul pillar. He is unable to cast spells using souls until he transforms into the ascended fiend. Okay. I'll take it. That was, that was worth doing. Um, let's pop one more heal. And just keep everybody as topped off as possible. This, oh my goodness. I mean, they're all about to die anyways. So he can pop in here with this. Um, and then I'm gonna run him over here and attack this thing. I kind of, I kind of like this ability to, to do this. Um, whoops, this turn. All right, she can run in and kill this. Maybe one more will do it. Beautiful. Run over here. And the turn. Oh, cool. He's, he's okay. Everybody, he's okay. I just need to kill like one of these per round and it'll severely limit him, I think. But we gotta get it to the point where my paladin can just go in and just smite him. Man, all the missing. It's very nice. Okay, uh, she's got she's got more level two spells. Heck, she's got some level four spells, which she can't really use anyway. So she may as well pump like a full on level five here. Boom! Almost got it. So my paladin will definitely finish it off. Um, I'm gonna just move her out a tiny bit. Nobody really needs a heal except for Astarian. He'll be fine. She's gonna die if she's not careful. I can, I'm just like not even attacking her, so it doesn't matter to me. Good, athletics failed. All right, kill this thing. Boom. Um, let's fly him over. Gotta love it. Attack, baby. It's too bad I can't like crit, you know? I guess with like a, I just take a potion. I may as well, it's only five health, but I'm not doing anything else with my, um, what'd you call it? My, um, bonus action. Hmm. I kind of feel like at this point, maybe not, maybe not. I don't think we're there yet. We're, we are going to level two or let's, let's hit it with a level four. Just get that nice and low. Um, I'm also gonna move her in here. 
Enter. All right, so he can come over and poke. And then he can run over here and shoot. Man, he is doing nothing to this thing. He's trying real hard. <laughs> I still have a bonus action. Let's pop a big potion. Enter. All right, Karlak. Uh, yeah, definitely need you to kill this thing. Ooh, that's a, that, that changes things. That miss really hurts. Boom. All right, still, still got it dead, though. Okay, so now she can... Whatever. Don't care about your stupid little puny attack of opportunity. Nice sparks. I wonder if I could have killed these things when I came in. Didn't really consider that. Oh, uh, concentration broken. It's almost like I was kind of hoping to now swap over. Um, because I really, really do want that, um, spirit guardians up in a moment. Should she s Well, she doesn't have an action anyways. All right, that's fine. Just move her over here. Um, let's heal. Boom. <laughs> She's trying to shove everybody. All right, Paladin. Smack it. Oh, it's almost dead. All right, Shadowheart, you can finish it off. Level one. Definitely with a level one. Six damage. Okay, I miscalculated that massively. <laughs> Whoops. You know? That was... Sure, whatever. Enter. <laughs> um... Let's, let's poke it. Okay, and then hope that his ranged attack can now do it. Eight damage. <laughs> Alright, pop, pop another healing potion, my guy. Just keep yourself topped <laughs> off. Alright, she can kill this thing. She can also fire off one of these. Well, that was as good as she's got. Now she can come hit him. Make it reckless. Alright, I guess not. <laughs> <clears throat> he gets to act. Really? Oh, no, he's finally ascending. Okay, okay. He's turned into Diablo. Oh, my goodness. That giant hit. Hope needs to heal. She needs to heal. Um, so this is what we were saving the preserve life for, for sure. Um, let's move Hope out. So Hope can hit everybody with a big ol' heal. Um, Ascended Fiend for two turns. Raphael has gorged on souls and enhanced his fiendish powers, granting him an even deadlier array of spells and abilities. In this form, soul overcharge will not prevent him from using souls to cast spells. Okay. And he still has punished divinity. After using this feature, Raphael may consume a soul pillar to do so again. Okay, good to know. Let's end her turn. Man, Corilla's useless. Glad I didn't try to convince her to fight. <laughs> Boom. Uh. Got to concentrate. She can just hit this thing, right? Immune to fire damage. Wow. Good to know that I just wasted her action. Damn. Got to move. I can't believe that. All right. I I actually can't believe that. In turn. The only way out is through. It's time for my boy to where's his click heels? There it is. To finish this off, he's gonna fly over here. Okay, I guess fly down here and then fly up here. Kill this thing. Okay, so now he's got nothing left. Yeah, let's move him over. He's got no more souls. He's got one soul charge apparently, but he'll use that. And then he's he's done done. All right, Astarian can hit with this. Critical hit, 66 damage, that felt appropriate. Um, can we hide him? There we go, <laughs> just don't want him getting hit. Um, she is going to 
just run out of this. I might, so she doesn't go down, just pop a big potion. I think that's what I'll do. One hit, two hit, red hit, blue hit. Okay, end turn. Let's see what happens. So he's done with Punish Divinity now. So that's gone. Uh, opportunity attack. Oh man, he's got so much like... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, she is pretty low on everything. She doesn't have any more heal. No, she does. She, wow, she's got a lot of stuff that I just haven't seen. I mean, I kind of feel like at this point, she just starts tossing, tossing holy balls. Yeah, get him Guiding Bolted. That is going to help out so much because Guiding Bolt, if we look, gives you uh, advantage. So, it's really nice. Uh, healing word, Carlac. Okay. Let's run her over here and turn. Oh, Carilla's still alive. <laughs> well done, Carilla. All right, we're gonna fly off over here and now we go ham. This is it, baby. So we're going to, where's it? Blah. I can divine smite. Do I have anything else other than haste? I mean, I think I haste myself. <clears throat> so then the next turn, I just go ham. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Um, and let's hit him with this. Ah, I missed. Okay, that's fine. End turn. All right, Shadow Hearts. Do I want a Moonbeam? I think I do. So let's Moonbeam him. Um, Karlak is going to be able to heal herself, so I'm not too worried about that. But I'll, I'll move Shadowheart this way. End her turn. A star again can. There we go. Do that. I mean, I could run him over there and start hitting things, but. Yeah. Can I throw this? I could drop it. Um. I'm gonna send one Carlac or those, whatever they were. And I'm gonna run him over here and hide again. There we go. Okay, uh, end this turn. She can bonus action heal. And then run over. Oh, not in the moonbeam though. Not in the moonbeam. Oh my goodness, I was hoping for an extra hit there. It's fine. All right, so now he's out of his crazy form. He's lost his action. She doesn't have enough movement to go knock her sister out. Although I was kind of hoping for it. It's fine. Um, let's do this. That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> um, nope, close this out. All right, end her turn. You will eventually do something, Corilla, but it's not today. All right, my paladin now can do his four attacks. So we're going to do both of the remaining smites that I have. Okay, that one. And this one. Totally out of spells. Oh, no, we, ooh, that was a crit. Uh, we do have a level two remaining, so let's do that one too. And because of that crit, we have Great Weapon Master. You see what I'm talking about though? Like this is his whole thing. He has completely dominated him now that the, the Radiant thing is gone. And turn. Um. If 
I if I just like no, that's an action, isn't it? To move it? It is. I just kinda wanna leave it there. So Okay, here's my thing. I think what I'm gonna do. Let's go to the passives. Go non-lethal. I'm gonna run over and hit her. Yep. Don't react. Okay, we're gonna turn that back off. And go to common. Or go to go to all of it. Okay. I don't need to heal, so we will enter. Alright, Starian. Finish him. Okay, that miss was not good. <laughs> Stay up there. Alright, Karlak, do your thing. You've been wanting to do this for a while, I know you have. Ooh, nice crit, okay, okay. He's so close. Oh, do I... That's a bonus action. I need the bonus action to get there, though. I don't think there's a way that I can get down there. I need 70 feet of movement. He can only... What is his total movement, usually? Does it say? 30. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get down there. Well, I could try, but that's not going to happen, so... End his turn. End her turn. I was hoping maybe he can get down there and do the extra damage. He's got 16 health remaining. Do we let Hope do it? I mean, we can certainly try. Let's try it. No, she just couldn't, she didn't have the beans, you know what I mean? <laughs> One turn. All right, goodbye, my guy. This is, this is what I came here for, and you shall die. Quite a view. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming! I like her. <laughs> Pinch yourself. We're fine, Hope. We did it. Uh, or incredible as it seems, we really did defeat Raphael. I expected him to put more, more of a fight. I was just about quite alright with the amount of fight he put up. If anything, I would have preferred less. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. My beautiful sister is mostly intact. You could have broken her in half like a breadstick, but you didn't. I'm so I glad that worked. She fought you. I'm glad she survived. I am so happy that we we thought to knock her out instead of just killing her or letting her die. You're too forgiving. After all she did to you, we should have killed her. She's still under Raphael's influence. She didn't deserve to die. Yep. Um, yeah. She deserves some of the blame. Serving him was a choice, but she was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She's my sister. I love her. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love left for you as well. I hope it guides you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm. And the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. Oh, you should come with me. Um, yeah, you should come with me. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all... Who would ever want to think of hell without hope? <laughs> I hope I'll see Carilla again one day and that she'll say sorry and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade and memories of sorrow will die and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Aww. Hope is finally free. She plans the true meaning, or she plans to give true meaning to the name House of Hope. Yeah, we got gloves of soul catching. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional force damage. Soul catching once per turn uh, on an unarmed hit, you regain 10 HP. Alternatively, you may forego healing to gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Constitution plus two up to 20. That's really, really good if you're a monk. 
and not great if you're anything else. Oh my goodness. New armor. It's new armor, baby. It's new armor. And it gets us fly, but we already have fly. <laughs> you are considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. When you succeed on a saving throw, the caster receives burning for three turns. And you have resistance to fire damage. It cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. I, I think is gonna go to somebody else. And we got his diary. We will definitely read his diary. Oh, that was quite the fight, but I'm so glad that we got it done.